So what's the, the next step is that it, it's not just your vaccine data, of course, or your vaccination record, it's everything else. And why do we think that they are monitor, monitoring our carbon emissions Footprint, right now? Yes. Because, well, you know, they're saying they're doing it to raise awareness. So, of course, nobody raises awareness for free. It's so that that information can be used and that you can be, again, controlled and monitored and limited in your freedom. So once that digital identity is there, combined with central bank digital currencies, if I stand here at the bar and I want to order a steak, cheeseburger yeah, or a steak cheese or whatnot, and I do that only with my central bank digital currencies because I have no other means of paying it, it immediately can register, oh, okay, this is Ava. She just ordered a burger that is so many carbon credits that we are going to detract from her account. And next time that I try to buy one and I've surpassed my limit, it's just uh, CBDCs don't work today because you've surpassed your limit. Do you want to buy more, dear? Do you want to buy more credits? Yeah. And then they'll make money off it. And then they'll make money off if of it. If they decide to allow, allow you. Us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is, again, you know, it's... We're going to walk straight into a two-tier society, just like we did with COVID. And, and this time, it's, it's going to be worse. It's going to be worse. I agree with you. And for everyone that may think that something we said here is a conspiracy theory, you should go to the WEF website and look for personal carbon allowance and you'll find the document about personal carbon allowance that talks exactly about that. You, you are going to be monitored for every transaction, every consumption habit because it's all tied into the climate agenda.